PWA is the fancy acronym for Progressive Web Apps. Hmm, I heard that PWA means building at once applications. Is that true? I don't know. Hmm, let me install Adriana and add her to the screen. Hi all, I'm Adriana Hara. I wouldn't say PWA is particularly fancy or advanced, but it does provide tools that improve web experiences. PWA is the group of technologies used to implement app experiences. It started with making websites installable so that users could get easy access to those experiences from their home screens. But now it includes many more capabilities like shortcuts, file system access, multi-screen placement, and much more. The P stands for progressive. If you are using progressive enhancement, you are using PWA. Since I'm hanging out with Jessalyn today, let me show you a couple of tricks from DevTools that will help you implement your web apps. First stop, for installability, you will need a manifest file. It is a JSON file that contains information about how your app looks and a couple of other neat features. To get information about your manifest, visit the application panel, and it is the first pane in that window. There, you can double check the name and icons that will be used in the homepage. When the app is installed, DevTools will show errors. For example, if the path to your icon can't be reached. And since your web app can be installed across devices, it is important you have what is called a maskable icon, which means it will show correctly independently of how the platform crops the icon. And DevTools shows you what is the safe area for your maskable icon. Below the manifest pane, we have the service worker pane. Jessalyn, do you want to take this one? Sure. First of all, service workers can act as a proxy between your apps and the network. They can help you with performance, especially for commonly accessed static resources. Service workers are the key component to help you create your own custom offline experience. Working directly with service workers may seem a little bit tricky. You can use the Workbox libraries. It provides a set of modules that simplify common service worker routing and caching. Adriana has an awesome video series to walk you through that. Make sure you check it out. In the application panel, the service worker pane allows you to check if your page has a registered service worker, if there are any errors in the service worker, which version is controlling the page, and if you have other versions waiting to get control. You can check the service worker lifecycle by visiting this URL on the screen. Apart from that, you can also set some helpful debug options, like skipping your service worker to check the direct network responses or have the new versions of service worker take over on reload. You can even check what will be served if your users are offline. Hey, Adriana, are there any other features in the manifest pane that you would like to share with us? Actually, yes. The manifest pane can also help you implement a couple of other neat features. For example, richer install UI, shortcuts, and protocol handling. When you add a description and a set of screenshots, your app gets the richer install UI, which displays a bigger install dialog for your PWA. In DevTools, you can double check the values to ensure your users get a clear install experience that makes them want to add your app to their device. With shortcuts, your users can take quick actions from the app's icon on the home screen. You implement them by adding a shortcut array that includes icons and the URLs to handle the actions. Oh no, there is so much more you can do with your PWA, but we are running out of time. Hey, Adriana. Where can we learn all this good stuff? If you want to learn everything about PWA, visit web.dev slash learn slash PWA. And if you want to learn more about debugging PWA with DevTools, go to goo.girl slash devtools PWA. That's all. See you in the next DevTools tips. Ciao!